Hey guys, it's January 17 in North Carolina. It's cold. Uh, it was six degrees this morning. It's 28 degrees right now in the early afternoon. This is a terrible time to be trying to keep up with the moisture that your mushrooms need as a mushroom grower. And we're going to talk about why that is and what you can do about it. So I want to introduce you here to what's called a psychrometric chart. And this is a chart that helps to explain uh, the interrelations between temperature, moisture in the air, and relative humidity. The horizontal axis is the temperature. The vertical axis is how much actual water is in the air. And it shows it as pounds of moisture per pound of air. And then the curved lines going from lower left to upper right are relative humidity percentage lines. So on this psychrometric chart, I put a red dot to show you where the environmental conditions are outdoors right now. It's 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 31% relative humidity. That gives us a point at the very lower left of the curve, uh, and it shows that there's just over about 0 0.001 pounds of moisture per pound of air right now. All right, that's the conditions that we're working with. Now here's where we want to be. Our mushrooms, uh, you can see the green dot there, they want to be at 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 90% relative humidity. Um, so if you follow that green dot over to the left, that's about 0.013 uh, pounds of moisture per pound of air. So 13 times as much moisture in the air as there currently is. That's what we need. It looks like going from 31% relative humidity to 90%, you need three times as much moisture, but in reality we need 13 times as much moisture as well as getting the temperature up 40 degrees. When you are trying to keep the same relative humidity in the winter that you are using in the summer, it's much harder to do. So here's our quality control grow tent right now. It's working hard to get the humidity up in the air inside of that tent because we're starting out at such a low humidity. And you can see it's almost a constant fog environment inside of there right now. So in the winter, we end up turning our humidity down um, instead of running between 89 and 92 percent relative humidity like we normally do in the summer. We typically run about 86 to 89 percent relative humidity in the winter just to keep that fog environment from, from forming. But what we haven't talked about yet is that we're not just adding moisture to the air inside of a grow tent, we're also turning over the air in that grow tent eight to 10 times per hour. So every hour we're humidifying a volume of air eight to 10 times the volume of that grow tent. So what can you do in the winter to make it easier to keep up with the demands of your grow area? We're growing in, in this little tent just for QA. This little tent has about 40 cubic feet of volume in it. So when we add in our 10 air exchanges per hour, we've got 400 cubic feet of air going through there every hour. If you're a bigger operation, you could have many multiples of that amount. And part of the problem of that low moisture air coming in, getting the moisture added inside of the grow area, is that you end up with bigger discrepancies inside of the grow area. You've probably already found that you have microclimates in your grow area where there are some areas where the humidity is higher or lower, some areas where the carbon dioxide levels are higher or lower. Um, and when you have a greater difference between what's coming in and what you want to produce, you end up with greater discrepancies. So one thing you can do is humidify the space outside of your grow area so that the air you're drawing into your grow area is already closer 
to the desired humidity, and that'll let you get more consistent results inside your grow area. The other thing you can do is make sure that you are having the lowest possible air exchange for what you need, um, knowing that when you're going from 30% relative humidity to 90% relative humidity, it's not just three times difference, it possibly is 13 times difference. Uh, the less humidity you have to add, the better. So keep that air exchange, especially in the winter, as low as possible to still have good quality mushrooms. I'll tell you, I ran the numbers for this little 40 cubic foot uh, grow chamber and found that in our current conditions, it needs to add an extra cup of water every hour to this environment to get the humidity where it needs to be. And a cup of water doesn't seem like a lot, but that's still uh, going through a gallon of water every 16 hours, a gallon and a half a day in this small space. Now, if you're growing just for home use, maybe you're using one of our grow at home fruiting blocks, um, you actually have an easier job because the environment that you're creating using just the regular humidity tent that, that came with the kit is really small. You're looking at maybe one cubic foot and you can add extra moisture to that just by using a pan under your fruiting block that you keep water in and then even adding a cloth partly into that so that there's extra area to evaporate. So keep your humidity tent on there, keep some water under your fruiting block. Anytime you see that there's not visible moisture inside that fruiting tent, take it off, spray the inside of it well, and go ahead and give the mushrooms a few sprays at the same time, and you'll actually be able to keep a pretty good moist environment that way. All right, a quick functional review of what we learned. Last night when the temperature dropped, the carrying capacity of the air, because of the lower temperature, got lower, it could hold less moisture. So as the temperature cooled, even though there was no more liquid in the air, uh, eventually the air became 100% relative humidity. And at that point, some of that moisture started coming out as condensation. It's now frozen on our car here. Um, to be really clear about this, even though the relative humidity was 100%, there wasn't nearly enough water available to grow mushrooms in addition to it just being really cold. So this is the lesson you need to understand as a mushroom grower is that relative humidity is not a good indicator uh, of how much water is available when the temperature changes. It's only useful at the same temperature.